Hey everybody, I'm B. Jemine, aka The Terrible Australian, and welcome to my video review of director Jaime Colette Serra's latest film, The Shallows. So let's get right into it. Now, Jaime Colette Serra, and if I'm butchering the guy's name, forgive me, uh, I really like him as a director. I'm not going to say he's the greatest director of all time, but he's the perfect director to sort of, sort of if you've got like a B-movie premise he will elevate it with an A-grade sheen. Like, you only have to look at some of his films. I mean, yeah, his first film, House of Wax, which I know a lot of people enjoy that one, but I thought it was crap. But all these other ones that he's made afterwards, like um, Orphan, and a lot of the sort of the uh, Liam Neeson action films, like Unknown, Nonstop, Run All Night, are just really fun and entertaining films. And like I said, they're B-grade films at heart, but they, but John May call it Sarah knows how to handle them extremely well like giving and they're actually really well made films overall like he knows how to handle action suspense horror um and also get really good performances out of his actors as well so in that regard i'm always looking forward to any type of film that he makes so when i heard it that he has a, a new film uh called the shallows which is kind of uh, which stars uh blake lively basically the premise of it just uh, a a young woman goes off to sort of um, surf one day, gets attacked by a shark, and then she gets stuck on a reef, and basically she has to try to get back to shore while, while the shark is trying, is circling her. So in that regard, that premise alone is... I, I, if, you have a, if a horror film has a premise like that, I'm instantly hooked, and I was very curious to see how um, Colette Sarah would handle this premise. And for the most part, I will say, like, it, it, it's handled reasonably well, but but I have to say, though, um, honestly, I kind of feel like this might be m one of my least favourite films of his, and probably his weakest film since House of Wax. Like, I didn't hate this film at all. I think it is a watchable film. But that being said, though, um, I feel like the main reason why the film didn't work with me as much as it has with other people, because, like, the film has gotten pretty good positive reviews, and probably... Um, one of Sarah's, I mean, call it Sarah's most acclaimed film so far. And if you go by sort of uh, the Rotten Tomatoes meter and whatnot, but I think what why the reason the film didn't quite work for me as much as it did other people was because I've already seen this premise so many times before. And I mean, granted, I'm the kind of person who doesn't mind if a horror film or any type of film has a premise that it's been done before, but it's all about the execution and whether you can still make it an engaging story overall. And, uh, but I guess for me personally, um, even though the film visually looks terrific, like the cinematography in this film is spe spectacular, it, it is absolutely gorgeous, like the wave seeds are just so amazing, um, but uh, it wasn't as, as engaging or as, as thrilling as it could have been. And like, I guess the mixture of using sort of like a CGI shark and an animatronic shark and whatnot kind of didn't really sort of hit me, didn't really thrill me as much as it could have been. Because the films like, uh, I mentioned, uh, The Reef, Open Water and all that, they had uh, real sharks in those movies and that made those films a bit more intense. Although I wasn't really fussed on The Reef overall, but it had some pretty intense scenes. But um, The Shallows is kind of similar in that regard. Like, there are some pretty good moments and there's the occasional intense scene, but I, I kind of feel like it wasn't as engaging as it could have been. Um... I guess with, because uh, it, it kind of just felt very contrived in the way how the story is set up and how the main character is set up and sort of like all the um, situations that she goes through to survive to get back to shore. Like each one just kind of just feels very forced and very contrived, like, like very scripted. But you know, I know, I understand that this is a B-movie, B horror movie and whatnot, but I don't know, it just... I kind of just noticed it a bit more in this one, and it just felt very mechanical to me in that regard. But um, but that being said, though, um, I, I, I mean, before I go on to the positives, uh, and also there's some aspects I found really silly as well, like in the film, uh, Blake Lively's character <laughs> I, I has kind of this weird kind of relationship with a seagull, like this, that has a broken wing that's stuck with her on the rock. And I guess the film's trying to set that up kind of like a... You know, like in Castaway, how Tom Hanks was talking a lot to the uh, this ball that he found called that he named Wilson. I think the film was trying to set up um, that kind of sort of 
Wilson kind of relationship between uh, Blake Lively and the seagull. And they even give the seagull a really funny name, which I won't spoil. But it, it to me, it just came off rather silly. And, like, it worked in Castaway because it sort of, we were emotionally invested by the character at point and understand why he has that relationship with the ball. But with the seagull, though, it, it just came across rather silly, unfortunately. But uh, in terms of positives, though, I think Blake, Blake Lively is definitely the main reason to see this film. Like, she gives a really wonderful performance. Like, it's pretty much her 90% of the film. And she does a really good job. And I always thought that Blake Lively, Blake Lively was a very underrated actress. And this film kind of proves that as well. Because she does a really good job with sort of the physicality of the role. And she's putting us into the mindset of her character as she's sort of going through all this. So she gives a really top-notch performance. And like I said, the film visually looks great. The music is pretty spot on. And there are some pretty thrilling moments here and there. But, um, but I think it's just really let down by the script. And because I, I guess I, I expect I wanted a little bit more than rather than just this premise. Like, you know, something that would have made it stand out compared to other ones that have used this type of premise before. But, uh, Unfortunately, it's it's a it's an, a watchable if kind of average kind of horror film. So, but it does have its good qualities, like I say. So, if I had to give this film a rating, I give it a solid two and a half. It's definitely one of Jaime Colazzaro's lesser films, at least for me, anyway. But you know, and but he does do some pretty solid work here and there. But uh, yeah, it's just it just didn't grab me like his other work did, unfortunately. So yeah, that's the end of this uh, video review of The Shallows. I hope you guys all enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys all later. See you guys. Bye.